now let's look at the microprocessor operation okay how does a microprocessor operates we are going to understand that okay before that just realize that your microprocessor is basically being run by a program okay you have a program like this okay which is in your memory okay and the program consists of a set of instructions so your program is basically nothing but a listing of instructions something like instruction 1 instruction 2 instruction 3 and so on okay so we are going to see how our microprocessor behaves when I want to do this thing okay what I want is I want to read a number okay from input port okay having port number let's say DEAD okay and then what I want to do is I want to add 20 okay not exactly 20 rather 20 in hex okay to this number right and then I want to push out the result or just send out the result to a output port okay then what I want to do is send the result to a output port send the result to output port and let's suppose that output port is having a number B E E F okay that's a hex number okay so we want to do this so for this your program would be something like this what I'm going to do or what I'm going to write in my program as instructions is going to be something like this to read a number from input port what I'm going to say is I'm going to say in okay and I'm going to write the input port so let's suppose I write it like this I write it like this okay and I write a H saying that it is a hexadecimal number okay so what this instruction is telling the microprocessor that it is a in in means a input port read where the input port is DEAD okay so it basically tells the microprocessor to read a byte of data from input port DEAD okay so that is my first instruction okay my second instruction would be to add 20 okay so what happens is this data that has been read from your input port DEAD is stored in a temporary register within the microprocessor okay we are going to just assume that that register is A so let's suppose your DEAD port sent out 0x40 okay so that 0x40 or 40 in hexadecimal is stored within the microprocessor in a register A okay so my next instruction would be something like this in order to add 20 to this number what I'm going to say is add 20H okay 20 in hexadecimal how do you add just one number because it is obvious that the other number is present in your A register okay I am assuming this guy sent out this guy sent out 40 in hexadecimal okay so my register within the microprocessor A is going to store 40 which was sent by DEAD input port okay and your add 20 instruction is going to add 20 to the contents of register A so it is basically going to add 40 plus 20 it's not 40 it's 40 okay so therefore I can write it add 20 